Okay, so we're going to get to the fourth uh, conic, which is hyperbola. And uh, I want to do a little differently in this one than the other three with circle, ellipse, and parabola. I chose a problem that's already in the format because there's a lot of stuff to do in hyperbolas. I mean, certain problems with hyperbolas, it could take you like, if you even know what you're doing, it'll take you like five, ten minutes to do a whole problem. If you know what you're doing, that is. And I want to skip some of the steps, like the completing the square steps, and uh, just move right on to learning how to analyze a hyperbola uh, graph. And uh, as the way you understand hyperbolas is that you know you have either going this way or opening this way, like it's illustrated here. And the way you know that is the way I remember is if x is the first first uh, uh, here that it'll open up left and right if x is the first one. If y, it opens up up and down. Okay, and it's always minus here. Just one minus, not another minus here. You have another negative here. Let's say minus this and minus uh, uh, x and minus y. Then it's not a hyperbola. So there's, there's ways to trick you. I mean, but depending on which te teacher you have, and I'll tell you this to this day, uh, after all these years of tutoring math, I haven't seen one teacher fool any student except my teacher. My teacher is the only one that tried to fool us, which is probably why I, I know uh, Algebra 2 so well. And, you know, I've seen every little trick in the book with that math. But uh, anyways, if you open up left and right, if it's x minus y, y minus x is open up, up and down. So it's a good way to remember it, okay? So let's put this, you know, in this format, uh, x minus y. So you know already right now you're opening left and right, okay? So first thing I like to find out is let's find the, the uh, center, which is 2, which is hk will be 2, 1, right? 2 minus 2, y, 1 minus 1, okay? So the next thing you want to find out is uh, where the vertex of the, um, the parabola is going to, I mean, the hyperbola is going to be. So it helps, let's see, let me draw it over here. It helps to visualize, to draw it out. It's easy way to explain it. And this is the center of the hyperbola, okay? And you know you know it's going to be opening up left and right, okay? So I know the vertex is going to be somewhere around here, along the one line, right? So, and the distance is always going to be the x distance since I'm moving left and right, so I know it's going to be this squared, okay? So what's square root of 25? Well, that's 5. So I know the distance will be 5 going left and right. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. So right away, I know that it's going to be opening up left and right from these two points. Okay? And to find these two points, basically, because everything originates from the center when you're doing hyperbolas. So the vertices will be 2 plus 5, 7, 1, and 2 minus 5, negative 3, 1. Right? Okay? So those are the vertices. Okay? So the next thing you find in uh, hyperbola is the foci, okay? And a focus, or the foci in plural, is basically c squared equals to a squared plus b squared, okay? So in this case, it will be, let's see, 5 plus 4 squared. So 5 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared, okay? So let's do that out. You get 41 equals c squared, and c will be square root of 41, okay? So square root of 41 is uh, the distance from uh, the center going both ways. Remember, the focus is always inside these curves, inside it. If, if it's here, then you probably did some like arithmetic problem. They're always in here, okay? So square root of 41 is about I would say 6.5, right? So it'll be around, let's see, I would say roughly here, and let's see, roughly here, I would say at the focus. Okay, I'm gonna use a different uh, uh, color to uh, draw this uh, in a second. Um, let me list the coordinates of the focus. So it will be, let's see, the center is 2, 1, so it'll be 2 plus root 41, comma 1, and Let's see, also 
two minus root 41 comma one, right? Because it goes left and right, right? So two plus root 41 comma one and two minus root 41 minus one are the focus. I'm gonna use a different color. Okay. Okay, so those are the two focuses. And here's the vertices. Hope that's not confusing. Okay. So those are the vertices, those are the focus uh, for the uh, hyperbola. And then the next thing you solve for, they ask you for the asymptotes, right? What were the asymptotes? I'm using another color to illustrate the asymptotes. Asymptotes are usually where it's almost touching the the curves, but never does. That's what it is. I'm not the best artist, so excuse my lines. <laughs> okay, so those are the asymptotes. And they'll ask you, oh, what's the equation of the asymptotes? How do you find them? Well, I have a little trick that, uh, I don't know if it's any of the books, uh, but the way I remember asymptotes is always going to be this. It'll be y equals plus or minus, okay? The way I remember it is rise over one. And the books, they always give this like B over A, A over B. And since they switch the A's and B's around, you never remember where they are. So it's really hard to remember them. It's confusing, isn't it? So all these years I've, I've looked at it, I'm like, you know what? It's always rise over run. That's always gonna be the asymptotes. So I don't even look at the A's and B's anymore because it's way too confusing. So all I do is just like, oh, rise over run. So square root of that is four, right? Square root of this is five. This is the run, x. Rise is always y, right? And that's the equation, technically, of how you find uh, the asymptotes. But remember, there is a shift here. So you have to put it here. You have to move it. So x minus two, and then you do a shift, y minus one, right? So the asymptotes is going to be y minus one, let me, uh, that's why I didn't do the complete the square earlier because it takes up a lot of space. <laughs> so the asymptotes is going to be y minus 1 equals to plus or minus 4 fifths x minus 2. Okay. You make questions about this, uh, let me know. It always works. It'll be a surprise. You're like, oh, why didn't I learn it this way? It's so much easier, right? <laughs> so basically, yeah, it's always rise over run this part. And then you just have to do a shift if there is, and which if there is, it's 2, 1. So you just put it in this format. So now you have y minus 1 equals the plus or minus 4 fifths times x minus 2. I mean, you can put in the y equals mx plus b form if you want. But usually, most people, when you're doing hyperbolas, this format is all good. It's full credit for almost ma every math teacher you'll get. Okay. So to summarize, you know, now you have the asymptotes. That's the equation of the lines that pass, you know, just kind of slightly touches the curve, but never does. That's what asymptotes are. Okay, it just, it just goes along it, but never touches it. Uh, here's the center, 2, 1, you know. So you can draw a little box. Let me draw it in a different color. There's a box here. Let's see, 5, 4, right? So this is 5, and then this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. So the box will be about, let's see, from 2, 1, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it'll be like this. Okay, so that's the little box for hyperbola, and then it just goes, you know, all the way out, okay, because it's what, 5 distance here, this is 5. this distance, this is the center, and this is 4, right? Because that's y squared. See, y always moves it up and down. x is always left and right. That's all, all you always have to remember that. x is always left and right. y is always up and down, okay, with, with these equations, okay? Um, so you, you see how, you know, it all works now. x always goes left and right. y goes up and down. Uh, if you need, need, I can make it, I can do an example with the y minus k. And it's the same thing. Everything's the same. So it opens up, up and down. And you're still doing rise over run. And it always works. So it's the easiest way to remember how to do asymptotes. That was one of the most confusing things, I think, when I was uh, growing up learning this. 
just trying to figure out the asymptote, but it was just so confusing with those A's and B's, and, and they swap them around. Like, you know, like now Y is under A, now Y is under B here. It's like, what the heck? It's too confusing, okay? So, if any questions, leave comments. I uh, appreciate it. Um, I'm probably going to move on to matrices uh, and completing the square at some point uh, soon. Thank you.